my name is Esther and I'm just going to take you through some stretches uh, to do before you go to bed uh, which focuses on the mobility uh, of your back to make you a bit more comfortable before you go to bed. So we're just going to start off in standing with your feet hip width apart. I want you to pop your hands on your hips and we're just going to start off with some pelvic rolls. Rocking your pelvis all the way forwards and then all the way backwards should be getting some nice movement going through your lumbar spine. So I'll just show you from the side, you're just tilting that pelvis forwards, getting a little arch in the lower back, and then tilting that pelvis back towards you, getting a little curve in that lower back. And you're just working between these two ranges, keeping within a comfortable range for you. Just down to the front again. Good, so it should be feeling a little bit looser now. So just come into a, that halfway point. So if you've gone all the way to one extremity and then all the way to the other, I want you to come halfway between those two positions and that's your neutral spine. So we're just going to do some mermaid stretches next. So just relax those shoulders down by your side. And I'm going to take one hand up towards the ceiling and then over towards the other side. So you get a nice stretch going down the side of your body all the way to your hip, back to the ceiling and back down. Going to do this each side so you should get a nice stretch right into your hip and a little bit into your lower back as well. Good. And then this time we'll just do one more of these on each other. We're going to add a little bit of rotation in. Good, okay, so we're going to take the left arm up to the ceiling, we're going to go over to the side. And then we're going to rotate the shoulders down towards the floor so you get a lovely stretch going across the diagonal of your lower back as well as down your side. Come back to the front, back up to the middle and down. Same on the other side. Up to the ceiling, stretch over to the side. Imagine someone's pulling your hand over towards the opposite side of the ceiling. Rotate those shoulders towards the floor, back up and over. And you can just go to the point that's comfortable for you. You don't have to Copy me exactly, as long as you feel a good stretch into that lower back. Good. And I'll just do one more on the other side. Perfect. Okay, and then relax those arms down by your side. So we're just going to do a stretch where we come down to touch your toes and then we'll come down onto the mat and do some floor stretches. So I just want you to run your hands down the front of your thighs towards your toes. Get a nice stretch through that lower back and down the backs of your legs. And then come back up into standing. And we're just going to repeat that stretch. Reaching down towards the toes. Stretch through the back and down the back of the legs. And back up. And each time, just try and feel yourself going a little bit further. If you can do it with your knees straight, then do. But it doesn't matter if you have a soft bend in your knees. Good. One more. And then this time when you take your hands down towards the toes, I want you to then just gently come down onto your knees and sit on your heels and we're then going to go into an all four position. So on all fours, I want you to make sure that your knees are directly below your shoulders and your hands are directly, your knees are directly below your hips, sorry, hands directly below your shoulders. And from here we're going to go into a cat cow stretch. So I want you to look up towards the ceiling as you arch your back. And then we're going to go in the opposite direction. Imagine there's a piece of string between your shoulder blades, pulling that part of your back up towards the ceiling as you look between your legs and tuck that tail down underneath you. And then go in the opposite direction. So you're just moving nicely between these two ranges, trying to move each individual segment of your back in a nice stretch in your direction. If you find that going this way is a little bit uncomfortable, and then you can just go to this halfway point and then work on going into that pushing up towards the ceiling range, okay? But try and go throughout the full range if you can. A really good mobility exercise for your whole back. Good. And then staying on all fours, we're just going to do one more exercise, okay? So this is going to be a mobility for the middle, mobility exercise for the middle part of your back. So it's called the thread the needle stretch. So we're going to take this left hand 
and we're just going to thread it between your hand and your leg on the other side, glide it towards the opposite side of the room as you lower your head down, keep it a lovely stretch between your shoulder blades as you do that, and then bring it all the way up and go in the opposite direction towards the, towards the ceiling, and then place that hand back down and do the same on the other side. Push that hand away towards the other side of the room, taking your head towards the mat, and then just bring that hand, opening up through your chest, point that hand towards the ceiling, and then back down. I'm just going to repeat this on each side. So each time you go into that stretch, you might find that you can go a little bit further, which is the idea. We'll just do one more of these on each side. Last one, up towards the ceiling and then place those hands back down on the floor. So what I want you to do next is we're just going to sink down onto your heels into this child pose stretch. I want you to take both hands towards the opposite side of the mat. So imagine you're reaching as far over as you can and you should feel a stretch going down both sides of your back and a little bit up towards your shoulders as well. And just try and relax your head down on the mat into this position. Hold that stretch. And then from here, we're going to take both hands over towards the left side of the mat. And you should feel that stretch increase on the right side of your lower back. Bring them back to the middle and then take them over to the right side and you'll feel that stretch increase on the left side of your lower back. Good. Back to the middle. And then we're actually going to come down and lie on our backs. So swivel yourself round and come and lie down. And first of all, I just want to start off doing those pelvic tilts that we were doing in standing in a lying position. So make sure that your knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. And I want you to rock that pelvis towards you, curving your back towards the mat, and then rock it away, putting a little arch in your lower back. So it's just work between these ranges, moving in a nice steady motion. Good. And then just come to rest in that neutral position. We're going to straighten this left leg out, bring this knee up towards your chest, and then I want you to take that knee across your body into that glute stretch and you should feel that stretch down the outside of your bottom and a little bit into your lower back as well and then ease back to the middle have a little pause and then come back into that stretch and then come back to the middle again and then i want you to straighten that leg up into the hamstring stretch and we're just going to work on stretching the muscle down the back of your leg which is your hamstring but i want you to just gently move your foot backwards and forwards and this can be quite useful if you've got any neural tension or sciatic pain going down the back of your leg and then just lower that knee and then straighten that leg back up and this time just hold that stretch your foot still. Bend that knee and then straighten that leg back out and then do the same thing on the side. So bring this knee up and then take that knee across the diagonal and into that stretch where you feel it on the outside of your bottom and into your lower back. Back to the middle. And then back into that stretch again. Hold that position. That's it. And then come back to the middle. And then same as the other side. Put your hands behind your thigh. Straighten that leg up. And just hold that hamstring stretch. And then when you're ready, just gently wiggle that foot. Not too far. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle backwards and forwards. And you should feel an increase in a release in that tension down the back of your leg. If it's too much, then lower your leg down again. It doesn't have to be this high. Good. Bend that knee, have a little pause. And then take it back up again. And just hold the stretch. 
this time with the foot still. Good, and then just bend that back down again. And then what I want you to do this time is we're just going to take both knees together and take your feet together as well. Have your hands just resting down on the mat. I just want you to rock your knees from side to side. And I want you to keep your feet together. So as your knees go over to the right, your left foot should come off the floor. And then as your knees come back to the middle and go over to the left, your right foot should come off the floor. And by doing this, you get a nice stretch going across the diagonal of the lower back. So I want you to gradually increase the movement, working those knees closer towards the floor each time. It doesn't matter if you keep your knees in a small range, just work with whatever's comfortable for you. Good, and then if you're getting your knees a little bit closer to the floor, what we can do is add in a little bit of an extension with the top leg. So take that knee down, straighten that top leg so you get a nice stretch across that lower back. Should deepen that stretch. Bring the ankles back together. Bring your knees up to the middle and do the same on the other side. So take the knees over, straighten that top leg and into that stretch. Hold that position. Bring the ankles back together and then come back. And we'll just repeat this a few times on each side. It's a really nice way of loosening off through that lower back. So if you've got any tension through those muscles, it's a nice way of getting them a little bit more relaxed and those lumbar segments a bit more mobile. Good, so last one, and then bring those ankles back together. Bring those knees up to your chest. Bring the knees back to the middle. So what we're actually going to do is bring our knees up to our chest. So just bring one knee up and then the other knee to follow. And we just gently rock those knees backwards and forwards. And when you bring your knees a little bit closer to your chest, you should get a nice stretch deepening through that lower back. So it doesn't matter if you're only bringing your knees here. Just go to the point where you feel a nice comfortable stretch. Not everyone's the same. So I have to bring my knees quite high up to be able to feel a stretch. But some people might be down here, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then what you can do, ease up that stretch and then just rock those knees round in a little bit of a circle. So we're sort of combining that knee hug with the knee rocking. And that can often feel quite nice and relaxing. And then go the other way. Good. Take those knees back to the middle and then have a stretch out, stretch those legs towards the other side of the room, take your hands up over in the opposite direction and have a nice stretch. Good, and then you can relax. So those are exercises which you can do throughout the day at any time, um, but they're quite nice to do before you go to bed, especially if you're getting any stiffness into your lower back and mid back from all the desk working that we're all doing at the moment. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.